when I talk about the uh, men's peak sexual market value, mm-hmm. it's right around 36, 37, 38 years old right there. And the reason for that is because women have different criteria for what they find arousing and attractive. So when a guy is right around 35, 36, 37, that's the years in which he has the most potential to have what makes him the most attractive to women. That's mm. that's how I judge that. That's how I, 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 I put that out there. Now, the thing is, is that it takes longer for men to get there. It takes longer for men to mature into, well, that into I their, agree with. yes, I agree. it does. <laughs> and it's not because, it's not because they're, they're still in, in dumb no, cave yet. It's, it's because it takes longer up. because men must become and women just are. I was just going to say, you used that quote the other day. And yes. I was like, oh, what the hell does that mean? Well, because when women, women are, women are and men must become, and, and what I'm does not, that mean? Okay, and I'm I not, don't know because like Adam even said, like, I was crazy partying when I was younger. And I, I feel like I've even dated guys now who are like, no, I like your age that you're older. I can't deal with a 21 year old. I agree. So, they're trying to work you. No, they're not. <laughs> no, no. Really, she does have a point. Like there are 21, 22, 23 year olds running around where it's like, yeah, they're hot. No doubt. Yeah, but, but a lot of guys don't want to. I'm not it's, trying to ask again, about how you're, you know, how, right. how was class today, baby? Like Once, I need someone who at least has some substance of what's going on. So for me, 25 Liar. to like 34 but is what, great. But once again, were you as were you in your most peak potential when you were in your 20s or when you hit 30? Or for where a you're guy? At right now? How much money do you have? For where a are you guy, at your life? I'm everything gonna, else. I feel like 35 to basically now, I feel like I'm in prime. You have but it. everyone's on their own journey. So That's like yes. certain people <laughs> can hit numbers earlier. Or for me personally, like I thought for sure I was going to, be married and have a family but now i'm so grateful that i didn't and have these other projects and passions that mm-hmm. i've established on my own so and on this note you're from miami south beach no, no. where are you from no i'm so- originally southern california okay that, that makes, makes sense in miami <laughs> right. yes. something i'm from up north i'm from pennsylvania mm-hmm. the and north is here, so different Every place is different. Yeah. When I left here, people said, why would you leave Miami? And my answer, it was difficult to describe, but I said, uh, my soul was dying because... I felt that way in LA. Oh my God. Yes. (laughs) You're just, you're evaluated so critically. And and then too, it's mm-hmm. kind of fun when you like reach the top of everyone's standards, and you're like, okay, fuck you, bye. It's just, like, it's not interesting. That's what I realized yeah. when I when I went back. I saw it was a magazine ad for a yoga, and I was like, oh my god, that's my body. I was perfect, but it's never enough because yeah, there's you, a million other people, and it's never enough. And so where I am right now, I know I'm like kind of getting hit as if I am supposed to take a partner. I don't want it. I have so much calm i have like i have such a nice life and i didn't have that nice life when all of this headache was going so, on uh, here, here, wait you, what's you've... your when's your like birthday like what's your sh- astrology sign I'm oh cool curious. i'm so happy you asked yeah <laughs> it's uh i'm december 29th so you're a capricorn as well mm-hmm. i'm a capricorn we are like very mm-hmm. loyal hard workers rebecca <laughs> you fascinate me here's my question for you yes how many of your best friends best friends are married with kids I don't have a lot of best friends, but I know everybody who... All your friends from high school, college, graduate school... When I went back up... If there's a hundred of them, how many of them are married with kids? From graduate school, they're mostly from other countries. In general. She doesn't compare herself, I think. That's not my point. But That's what I like. It's not a comparison. I'm not asking asking you to say... What's the number? No, I I see them, and they've they've grown, and they have other lives, and they have husbands, and this just isn't my life. What percentage? I think a lot of them do. So 90 plus percent? I guess. Okay, well, I'm just saying mm-hmm. all my best friends, mm-hmm. and I have dozens until like I grew up in Miami, all my friends, like 5%, I'm still hanging with, we're going out, like 5%, meaning the other 95% are married with kids. So you're the anomaly. This is all I'm trying to say is that you're successful, beautiful, and I don't need no man. I got my own thing because because you're. It's not a, I don't need no man. It's I have a very <laughs> happy, peaceful life. I love what I do. I get better at what I do every day. And if there's mm-hmm. somebody who can enhance my happiness, mm-hmm. I'm very happy to make that. Well, your career so you're is your baby. Accessory. Your career is your baby. I would say career. It's um, more of a calling. Her passion. Calling. Yeah. Yes, okay. absolutely. I um, agree with what you were saying just because a lot of my friends are mostly in couples and 
I do think about like, okay, they're going to have babies soon. And I, like, I don't want to be the single friend forever. So. You won't be, Victoria. You're going to be great. Thank you. <laughs> you're, 